Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to relate one of your Zoho CRM campaign names to a newly created lead by using API programming. Um, for example, um, on your website you have a form so visitor can fill the form and, uh, and then submit to your Zoho CRM. But sometimes uh, you wa also want to know if this leads related to any one of your campaign. Um, so for example, this form is, is there is an option say, how do you hear about us? Or on, this, on the URL, you have a campaign name uh, show here. Then you can capture this campaign name. And then we can, once this leads inserted in your Zoho CRM, we can also show the campaign name related to this leads. For example, uh, let me open one particular lead. For example, this is my testing leads. Okay, so I, I'm going to see Okay, this one, for example, this leads is inserted from your web form. I also want to see the campaign, uh, how the, the, the leads uh, heard about us and related to this campaign. Then we can tell which campaign uh, get more leads, which campaign um, didn't get uh, uh, too much leads. Okay, so there are two ways. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, I'm only discuss. Uh, the, the way is using API function. Another way is using webhooks. So I'm uh, concentrated on the uh, using API functions. The function we need to use is uh, called update related records method. And uh, so that means we can update or add uh, the information related to leads, but we are adding the campaign name. Okay, for example, if we're using uh, API uh, from your website by using PHP, uh, for developer, we, all we're interested in is this string. We need to generate this string and then post it to this site. And then it will add um, the campaign uh, under that lead. Okay, so I'm using Webhook to help me to generate this, uh, this string and also for demo purpose. So, of course, we needed to know is what's the method. So this is the update related record, okay? And ID, of course, we need to know the lead ID, right? Otherwise, we don't know uh, the campaigns uh, insert to uh, which leads. And also, we needed to know the uh, campaign name, right? Here, we only need to know, here is the campaign ID. Uh, we don't insert the campaign name. ID is more important. Okay, so, and of course here is the uh, regular values. I This is the token value, you know, you will get uh, from uh, uh, the uh, website. You can search as a CIM also token and to get this value. Um, and also related module is campaign. So after that, this is the value. The, this is the string we get. So this is the ID, these ID, and this is XML data. This XML data is from here. Okay. So and uh, those are all the uh, the awesome token and uh, uh, other information. Okay. Now assume this is the uh, uh, newly inserted leads. Uh, let me refresh it first. And uh, there is uh, no campaign here, right? Uh, but if I copy the, the string I just created from the webhook, uh, let's see. Okay, this is the string I copied in the URL and uh, there is also awesome a token I hide uh, partially. So let's, uh, let me enter and see. There is no complaint on this. Uh, let me go back to the CIM. We'll go to this lead. Let me click this. It will refresh this page, this record. And let me scroll down and as you can see this campaign is created so that's mean um, uh, you can use well it's in fact it's not necessary or uh, impossible you copy those string on here and to generate uh, the uh, campaign here uh, but uh, the, the idea is uh, if you have your uh, the programmer and they can make 
uh, those string uh, from your website server and under uh, let's say PHP or C sharp they can make that string and uh, write some code and push uh, to those campaign related to this leads of course before we do that we need to know the leads ID and then we need to know the campaign ID which is not an issue at all for, for a programmer or for a developer to get that before uh, uh, to run that API function that's all thank you